everyone, Andy here. I'm a vintage home decor reseller and today I'm coming at you with a very large eclectic haul video. So if you guys watch my channel, you know I've been doing a ton of thrifting lately because I was preparing for a market and I got my first vintage booth and so there's a lot of stuff that I have not shown you because I did not have time and all of that market and booth prep. So today we're gonna cover all the cool things that I got while I was doing all my prep work. Now some of these items are gonna go to my new booth space at Tiny Brambles. It's a vintage shop in downtown Portland and some of these items are gonna come to Etsy. So you'll be able to shop me either in person in Portland or online in my Etsy shop. Okay, so we're gonna kick things off with the stuff that I got at the market that I recently did. Now you guys have not seen that video yet because I'm still editing it, but I only got three things that day because I was tethered to my booth. So I didn't have a lot of time to pre-shop, but I did pick up a few things. So the first thing I grabbed was this beautiful brass pedestal bowl. You guys know I sell these all day long in my Etsy shop, so it will be listed there. I still need to clean it up because it's a little bit you know, dingy, not like nice patina, but dirty patina. And it was only 16 bucks, which is great because I still have a lot of margin in that. So I can't wait to get this listed. The next thing I picked up is this adorable brass dog. I think I've only found two dogs in my entire thrifting. No, actually, no, sorry. I have picked up a few dachshunds, not many. Uh, but in terms of for sale, this is only the second one that I'll have ever listed in my Etsy shop. So this one I probably won't clean up because I like the patina on it. But I thought it was so, so cute. It was $18, so I paid up for it, but frankly, I can't find brass in the thrift stores really anymore, especially animals. And so anytime I can find a brass animal for like under $20, I'm usually grabbing it it's just because they're becoming rarer and rarer for me in the area that I'm in. So anyways, I had to grab this guy. And then the final thing I got at the market was actually for me and it was in my, and the final thing I got at the market, which may be like my favorite thing to show you in this entire haul. I don't know, there's so many good things to show you, but this hand, this wooden hand, I nearly lost my mind. I saw it, I was like, I have to have it. Again, I paid up, it's 22 bucks, but it was the perfect thing to put all of my postcards in at the market. So I got this as kind of like, you know, infrastructure, like merchandising. I thought this was very cool. So oh, I just, I just love it. It reminds me, if you've watched, obviously Beauty and the Beast, I know many of you have, but it reminds me of like the hand. Didn't he like put his hand against her? Am I thinking of the wrong Disney movie? I don't know. Anyways, when I saw this, I'm like, someone in a Disney movie put a big hand against someone. That's weird, sorry. Anyways, let's move on. Let's move on to more stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a piece of art that my friend Taylor got me. Now this, again, I paid up for, but when you see it, you'll be like, this is for you. This is a painting for you. It is a giant, giant, floral oil painting and it was only $89 with the gold frame. I nearly lost my mind. So she knows I absolutely love florals, obviously. I mean, you know, back here. And you guys, if you watch my channel, you know I have a huge collection. So this is another piece, so not thrifted. This is at an antique mall near us, but she's like, you gotta have this. And I was like, yes, thank you for picking it up because I absolutely love, and I'm, I'm in my floral area right now. I'm in my floral era. I think I'm gonna do like a whole floral wall in my laundry room because it's just, it's depressing in there. It's dated, it's ugly, and I feel like I need something to brighten it up. And frankly, I'm gonna run out of wall space here soon. So anyways, had to get this. So another thing my friend picked up for me to sell on Etsy is this beautiful Florentine tray. I sell these anytime I can get them. They sell really well because they're collectible. This particular colorway, which is like the gold with the white, does really well because it's just so classic and versatile. So I can't remember how much this was. I wanna say it was maybe 16 bucks, which gives me a lot of margin still. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love these. So anytime someone is out and finds one, they always send it to me because they know it's a bestseller for me. Okay, so let's move on to some cheap thrift store finds. So I know I'm hitting you with some higher price point items that still are very good and have margin, but I know it's always exciting to see really good deals on something. So the first thing that I got a really good deal on is this beautiful, almost looks like I don't know, keyhole or toast looking tray. So I can't, again, take credit for this. I've had a lot of people out shopping for me because of all of the sourcing that I need to do. So this was actually picked up by someone that I met on Instagram. So Tegan, thank you again for finding this. She actually found a few things for me recently at the thrift store. She's always shopping for me, bless you, thank you. Um, and so this was amazing. I think it was like under five bucks. 
and it's just so unique. It's so unique. The shape, I've never seen one shape like this before. I love that people call it the toast tray. So I did post it on social media and people are like, that looks like toast. And it kind of does look like a cross between keys and a keyhole and toast. Anyways, this will be available on Etsy because I just think it's one of those things that people lose their minds over. So anyways, yeah, when she sent me a picture of this, I was like, yo, yeah, pick that up for me, please. And a couple of small pieces I plan to put in grab bags. So I'm doing grab bags in my vintage booth just as a way to kind of get rid of smaller inventory and an excuse to buy smaller inventory. So I got this beautiful studio pottery vase. I love the blue and the shape. This was only $2.49. And then of course I had a coupon and then I got this adorable um, carved wooden box. This is definitely something that was like made in India. This is $1.99. Again, something that's cute that I can put into a low price grab bag. And then you guys have heard me say this many times, but mugs are something that sell really well at Tiny Brambles in my booth space. We sell them for $18 a piece typically. And so this one was only $2.50, had a coupon again. And I just fell in love with the glazing and the pattern. I thought it was really, really beautiful. So I had to grab this too. I also picked up this amazing wood cutting board. I mean, in great shape. I don't usually pick up a ton of cutting boards because I'm not a cut, like a wood cutting board person. I guess I'm not doing a lot of entertaining, it seems. But this one with all the unique wood inlay, I had to grab it. It was only $3.99 at Goodwill. So it's very cool. It's definitely been washed because it's kind of rough. And also another thing, I'm not a person who likes the texture of wood, I get like, it gives me the chills. You know how people with chalkboards, that's like me with like wood. Like I cannot touch a popsicle stick. Like do not give me a popsicle. Ooh, even thinking about a popsicle stick is, I wrap a tissue around it when I eat it, which I know is weird. So holding this, I'm like, Bleh. but I know once I put some like wood oil and stuff on it to preserve it, it's gonna look really, really good and it will have that nice like finish. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep this or if I'm gonna actually put it in my booth because I feel like something like this you know, it's one of those pieces that someone would want to pick up when they're shopping. So anyways, I had to grab this because it was just so pretty. And kind of a weird pickup for me. Not, not super weird because you guys know I love anything needlepoint. But this, I mean, it's a little bit more, I would say, antique old school. But I just couldn't say no to the needlepoint. Of course. You know, it just was so pretty. I liked you know, the shape of the legs. It's in largely really good shape. It was only $6.99 at Goodwill. I actually had another small one similar to this that I actually sold at the market that I still have yet to show you the footage from. I actually got that stool from my um, friend Taylor. Again, someone who's shopping for me and that sold right away. So I thought, you know what? I'll get this one too. I mean, stools, you know, like this are very tiny. They're easy to store. And this one I thought was particularly good. And the other thing I really like about it is, I don't know if it's going to come off on camera, but can you see that pattern on the underside? I mean, I'm just in love with that. I mean, all of the special details on this stool, it's just so sturdy and cool. And one thing I should mention is that anything that I have slated to go into my booth space now that I have it, I'm willing to probably sell it to you as well. I just am trying, I'm having a hard time figuring out like how I'm going to think about my inventory moving forward. Like some stuff I'm definitely going to put in my booth space. Like if it's too big, it's too much of a hassle to ship. I don't want to, you know, I'm just like, I'm not going to list it, but there's a lot of stuff that would do well online that I'm going to put in my booth space. So it's a tricky scenario. So if there's anything that I say like, Oh, I'm putting this in my booth space, but you really want it. I'm happy to list it for you on Etsy and we can get it to you that way. So don't, don't feel sad if you're like, oh, I want it, but she's going to put it in her booth space. Just know I can always, you know, sell it to you too. So just, you know, let me know. Send me an email. That's the best way to get a hold of me or DM me on Instagram because yeah, I'm happy to do that for you. So I actually picked up a jewelry piece for myself recently. So I went to a thrift store I haven't gone to in a while and I found this very cool brass necklace with this very interesting stone in the center. I thought it was awesome. Reminded me of like something in Egypt. I don't know why this, I think because it gives, it's giving me like scarab or beetle vibes. But anyways, I thought this was amazing. It was 22 bucks, which I thought was really good. I love jewelry. Jewelry is one of my very, art and jewelry are probably my two biggest loves. And I don't pick up a ton of jewelry all the time, but anytime I see something very cool, I try to pick it up. So anyways, this will be for me, sorry. Because yeah, and also the mauve. I mean, 
Look at that mauve color. Hello, mauve. You know, I'm a mauve girl right now. So I'm also in my mauve era. I'm in my floral era. I'm in my mauve era. So this is definitely something I cannot wait to wear this summer. So I went to an incredible vintage sale recently and found some pieces, again, that I paid out for, but I think have a lot of really good margins. So the first thing that I picked up is this beautiful original landscape painting on board. It was 22 bucks, but the colors on this are incredible. One of my biggest complaints about landscape paintings is sometimes the blues and the greens can be just too punchy. And this, I feel like, has just the right tones. I just, I just can't explain it, but I thought it was absolutely stunning and I had to get it. And so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this and if I'm going to list it online or if I'm going to bring it to my boost space. This is one of those already a scenario where I'm not sure, but if something you want, let me know because I can get it, definitely get it listed. But yeah, this is a TBD on where it's going to go, but I thought it was absolutely incredible. And then another fun floral piece of art is this beautiful sunflower painting. So again, I fell in love with this because the green colors were so good. I'm usually not a sunflower gal, but there's just something about this that was so sweet. This was 24 bucks. I paid it a little up for it, but for original painting, um, this is actually on canvas of sunflowers. I thought it was absolutely lovely. I think it's because it's also artist sign in the bottom. I think what really spoke to me was the fact that it has this very good pair there and a very good minimalist like wood bowl and i think that that's why it was like sometimes sunflower paintings can be over the top like like, the, like this one although i of course really love this one because it's balanced out with all the other uh, flowers um but this one i liked it because i felt like it was a little paired back and had like quiet moments anyways that's my interpretation of the art but this i probably I probably will list this on Etsy and then maybe take it to my boost space if it doesn't sell. But I thought this was really stunning. So a totally cute little find at the sale was this adorable lady bathing hook. It's brass, it still has all the original hardware and it has the original sticker on it. So I was really happy to find this, it was nine bucks. I thought it was so cute. Cause in a bathroom, I mean, that would absolutely be adorable for a towel or you can even hang jewelry on it. And I just thought it was very cute. So, you know me, anytime I find anything brass, if it's under 10 bucks, I'm grabbing it. And so I had to pick this up. So I picked up this beautiful pottery bowl. Now I am picking up more pottery again because in my booth space, pottery will sell. Unlike on Etsy, it's very hard for me to sell pottery unless it's very, very special or unique or collectible. This pot I thought was absolutely stunning. It's not artist signed, but it's definitely handmade. Love the glaze, love the blue. It was nine bucks and I just had to get it because you know, we're coming to spring and summer. We're going to be doing a lot of planting. So either this is for me or this may go to my booth space. I haven't decided, but I just really fell in love with the blue. So something that I picked up actually for my booth space to put stuff in is this very unique rustic kind of organizer. I thought it was really neat. I envisioned like having a place because when I was styling up my booth space, which you guys have seen that video, I mean, if you haven't, make sure you watch it next. When I was styling up my new booth space, I realized like I need something to put my cards in. Now, I, of course, like you're like, well, what about this? My only concern is I love this so much. I feel like I can't let it be anywhere without me being present because I know a ton of people are going to want to buy this because when I was at the market, everyone wanted to buy this from me. And so I was like, ooh, everyone at the at the at my booth, at the store is gonna be taking the cards out, picking it up and looking, can they buy it? And the answer is no. And so I'm just like, this will be just for markets because I can like verbally tell people versus like they have to always like, you know, dismantle my display. So I got this because I thought, ooh, this is great for cards here. And actually, I think I have. So let me just test this theory out in real time. So I have some cards here. So yeah, let me see. Yeah, so this is what I was like envisioning like this. So it's enough for like two sets of cards, which is great because I have two things that I'm promoting in my booth. And then I have this top part here that I can like slot something in. So anyways, I thought this was great. This was let's see, 18 bucks, which I thought was great for a display piece for me. So this won't be for sale. This will be going to my booth space, but I'm always like looking for things that I can use to like merchandise and just make things look a little bit more presentable for all like the marketing pieces that I have in my booth space. So I picked up a truly fantastic basket at the sale and it was 10 bucks, which I thought was awesome because this shape 
is amazing. So not only could it, you know, you can use it obviously for fruit on your counter, but on a shelf, I mean, if you have a place that is wide and you don't want to add a bunch of small stuff in a row, you just want one statement piece, that is this piece. So very versatile, very cool. I absolutely adore it. It's going to be hard for me to get rid of because I really like it. I'm like, it's like the same tones as all my wicker animals that I have like over there. So I'm like, Ooh, should I put a wicker animal in this? It could be their boat. I mean, that's, that's what I'm thinking. Oh gosh. Now I may need to do that. We may have to try that out <laughs> before I sell it. But anyways, I thought it was very cool. So I had to get it. So I'm not typically a tin girl. You guys know this. Have I ever picked up a tin with you guys? Never. But when I saw this tin, I was like, you know what? This might be my gateway. This may be my gateway. So it is Mayfair Milk Chocolate. I thought it was beautiful, the colors. Usually that's my biggest complaint with tins is the colors are not my colors. But these are definitely my colors. Oh yeah, open, okay. So these are definitely, it's really nice inside too. Definitely my colors because it has the pastels and the pretty blues. I just thought, and the gold, I just thought, it was lovely. So I don't know if I'm gonna sell this or not because I feel like styling, it could be really good because of the cool colors. So I, can, I may have a play around with this before I sell it, but if this is something you want, always let me know because I you know, usually can be you know, forced into giving it to you, not forced to, I guess, um, persuaded into giving you something. But anyways, this was $9, which I also thought was a good deal. I don't actually know enough about tins to know what they're worth. But I thought, oh, $9 for an amazing metal tin seemed great to me. So that's why I had to get it. So this next thing I picked up was a total, like I lost my mind. I kept thinking about it as I walked around and then I had to come home. So I paid up for this. And I, every once in a while, you just have those moments where it's just like, I can't leave it behind. And that is this, it is a hand carved wooden round box. I mean, look at that flower, insane. I love the detailing around the edges. And then the best part is, look at this person's signature on the bottom. I mean, that's like a font. It's like a font. I absolutely love it. It is from October 8th, 1970. Uh, Natalie Tamora, Tamora made it. I thought it was stunning and it feels so soft. And interesting, like because of the tactile experience, it's very cool. We're talking a lot about touching wood things. <laughs> this video, not sure why. Uh, anyways, but it's in great shape. I thought it was stunning. It was $28, so it wasn't like cheap, but I thought for something like this, that's so unique that I have not come across something this beautiful. It's also very old 1970s. I was just like, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I just, you know, I had to get it. So anyways, I don't know if this is something you'd be interested in. Let me know, but yeah, oh, it's so good. It's just so good. I know if I showed it to my son, he'd be like, oh, that's mine. I'm going to hide my stuff in it. He was in a phase where he likes to collect things and put them in containers. So he would lose his mind over this, but he will not get it because it's too nice. Okay. So I think we're to the last item that I picked up. So you guys know that I sell a lot of tortoise shell bamboo. It's something that sells really well for me, like bamboo in general, like boho is on its way out to some extent. I said this in my trends video, but bamboo, tortoise shell bamboo, which is like this, is definitely still of interest to people. And this particular shelf is stunning. Now I paid definitely up for this. I paid $38. Um, for this, but usually like organizers for bathrooms, which is essentially kind of what this is, I think because of the towel rack here, I usually sell these for, you know, over a hundred dollars. So there's still margin. Plus the great thing about this piece is it will pack completely flat and that makes shipping it so much easier and protecting it in transit so much easier. So this piece to me, I, I've nearly lost my mind. I can't remember, if I, did I tell you how much it cost? 30, yeah, I think I did, 38. So yeah, I had to grab it. I thought about it a lot, frankly. I walked around, I was like, do I want it? And then I was looking at comps of all the other tortoiseshell stuff that I bought recently, like little um, stands and other things. And the margins were, were there. So I'm like, you know what, just pick it up because you may regret not buying it, especially one that's in this great of shape. I mean, it's just, an amazing shape, amazing shape. And you guys know, you've heard me say it many times. These are the types of things that over time break because they become brittle. So when you can find them in good shape, 
kind of got to grab them because at some point they won't exist anymore because they're just a fragile thing. So anyways, that's, oh wait, no, one more thing, huh? Oh, okay, that was, that was loud. Okay, so one more thing to show you guys, and that is not super exciting, but for me it was because I saw this book. It's a, it's a French um, art book. I saw this online. I was like, oh, I really want that. But the prices were too high. And I'm like, uh, you know, you know, do I need to spend that much money on a book? I'm probably not going to read. I'm just going to look at the pictures and then put it on a shelf to decorate with. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of cheap when it comes to books. And this book was 10 bucks. I of course love the colors. You know me, these colors are amazing. And it has just all sorts of amazing, you know, modern art, pictures of artists and major works all in French, which I think just adds to the fact that it's amazing that it has all of these French details to it. So yeah, I just was just like, oh, I love it. So I don't know if I'm gonna sell this or not because it actually was a book I was on the hunt for and I couldn't believe that I actually found it at the sale. So yeah, 10 bucks, so I had to get it. Okay, so looking around, looking around, I think, oh, one more thing. You guys, I am not organized today. You can tell probably that I'm a little frazzled from all the stuff that I've been doing lately. Okay, so last thing, not super exciting, but for me it is because you guys know I sell wall baskets all day long. It's one of my best sellers. And then I got this one from Taylor again, my friend, because she's sourcing for me all the time. And so anyways, so she let me have this one. And um, yeah, I thought it was amazing and cool. And it only has one little flaw here. And so all you have to do is just glue that sucker right back down and trim it. And then it's perfectly fine. So these are great because you can slot mail like this particular one with the size. You can slot mail in it. People put like their dog leashes and other stuff in it. So it's just really great in an entryway to, you know, obviously collect all the stuff that's coming into your house that you need to corral. So anyways, this will be available on Etsy. Okay, so that's all I have to share with you today. So yeah, a lot of eclectic stuff, things I paid up for, things I found thrifted, things for me. Thank you to everyone who has been sourcing for me over the last few weeks. So my mom, of course, I have stuff I gotta show you from her. I just remember that. There's more hauls coming your way soon. So my mom, my friend Taylor, thank you for letting me shop all of your inventory because she let me actually go to her storage unit and just shop there rather than have to go to a thousand thrift stores. So thank you so much, so much. I still have things from that haul that I need to show you. And then my new friend Tegan, thank you for always sending me a message when you're at Goodwill and you're like, do you want this? And I'm always like, yes. Yeah, so if you're out and about and you see anything you think I might like, you know, you can always just message me and then that's easier than me having to go to so many thrift stores. I mean, I like it, but also like thrifting and sourcing, it takes up a lot of time and that's the one thing I don't have usually is a lot of time. Okay, so if you're looking for more decorating and thrifting content between my haul videos here on YouTube, make sure you check me out on Instagram and TikTok. So a lot of great videos coming up for you guys. I have my great junk hunt market recaps. I'm gonna show you like all the things I did to prepare for that market and then how the market went and also my tips that I would give to anyone who's doing their very first solo market because that was my first solo market and it was a whole different experience than when I was sharing a booth with someone else. So I'm gonna have a tips video coming your way. I have more haul videos. So tomorrow is my very favorite thrifting event in all of the area. It's called the Northwest Largest Garage Sale Event. I go very early in the morning. It's actually over the border in Washington from me and it is incredible. And I always get so many things and the pricing is so good, like a few dollars, like even better than the thrift store pricing sometimes. So yeah, that is tomorrow. So that Epic Hall is gonna be coming your way. And then part two of an estate sale that I went to recently that gave me the most Epic Hall of my life. That is coming up. So I'm gonna be shopping that. So. You guys, there's a lot of amazing things that are gonna be coming to you via my videos because there's a lot of big sourcing events coming up that I'm very excited for. Okay, so that's it, that's everything. Thanks so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Take care.